So just to recap, um, our blockchain foundation layer, as we describe it in the consortium, is a, a, a stack of technologies on a, what I like to call a design tech, and this includes Beam and other technologies to create a design, and then we have management tech, fintech, low tech, and gov tech. And by no means this is a, short, uh, a, a simple or easy ask. This is very complex and it's going to take some time and uh, we need to create a roadmap to understand where we want to go. The CBC looks into a variety of topics, including legal, financial, culture and change, which I believe is the most obscure and the most difficult one to deal with and possibly the most valuable if we manage to crack it. Uh, then we have design and construction, operations, building services, energy and sustainability, smart cities and social welfare. I think the two come together and policy and compliance. Policy and compliance, the CBC has to do a lot more work uh, because at the moment our outreach is only in the UK. You know, I do some work with the British Parliament and very, very modest work with uh, the European Parliament. So this needs to evolve and uh, we have to, have, uh, have to develop a, be a better outreach. We are working to publish more and uh, create knowledge in this domain. So we have our white papers and uh, people in the steering committee and other uh, affiliated people in, uh, uh, in the consortium, they are authoring books. We are finishing our IoT paper. Next year, hopefully, we'll get started uh, with our artificial intelligence and blockchain for construction. And I think this is quite promising. If you do have an interest to get involved with the white papers, please contact me. Uh, you, you just need to send an email, go to the website, send an email via the website dialog box or email me directly. Everything that has been uh, uh, presented in the Blockchain for Construction Research Workshop in Berlin earlier this year is now available on the Design Computation Wiki and on our Design Computation Database. So if you go there, and search BCRW 2023, you can see all the abstracts and all the videos, they are linked from that page. Uh, and uh, please go there, explore it, and uh, uh, use this as, as a resource for your research. The uh, content of this conference will be available in the Design Computation Wiki as soon as possible, hopefully before the end of this year. It will take a little bit longer than the Blockchain for Construction Research work, Workshop because it's registered. So we have a DOI for each presentation and we're linking this uh, in the pages with the abstracts. And for the ones who submitted a, a paper for peer review and if, if the paper was accepted and you presented, your paper will be also linked in the database and can be accessed. What uh, we presented in, in the last two conferences, in 2021-2022, they are already available in the uh, database, design competition database. The link will be, as you see here. So uh, in that database, you can find also other things. So I do run another conference called the Design Computation, Input Output. Uh, and uh, we about to uh, uh, publish uh, the contents of that conference as well in, in the same database. So as you look for blockchain content that please also look for content in respect to digital twins, uh, to machine learning, AI, etc. This year in the Design Computation Input Output Conference, we had some very interesting presentations from NVIDIA, Google DeepMind, etc. And this gives you a glimpse of what can be integrated in the discourse that we have here in this conference. So we will have a digital book coming out before Christmas for the Design Computation Input-Output Conference, and we will do the same for the Construction Blockchain Conference. Uh, the book is augmented, so as you uh, go through the book, you can watch the videos, etc. And this is a, a ISBN and DOI registered book, and you have your individ individual registrations uh, for the papers you submitted. Please, if you have a moment, uh, answer the Construction Blockchain Consortium project survey. This will take you five minutes, and this will inform how we should set up our first open source uh, technology project. Um, 
Uh, I did send uh, a link, uh, I believe, yesterday uh, via Eventbrite. So if you have a chance, questionnaire, and this will be really invaluable to inform how we should uh, deploy the first open source project. At the moment, it seems that it will be um, uh, 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 a project about mapping the domain and then making that mapping computational. So we will be talking about ontology and probably is going to be set up as a, uh, with a, a foundational open ontology that can be linked to other things. So I just want to thank everyone again for organizing the conference. Everyone you see here, they, you've been absolutely instrumental to make it happen. I special thank to Corny and her team for the wonderful work they've done. And they, we had lots of coordination meetings and it has been fantastic. I also want to thank uh, Professor Alan Penn and, and Professor Philip Trelevin for um, giving support, uh, especially um, uh, their knowledge to move forward with the consortium. I uh, also want to thank all the wonderful keynote speakers. Uh, I think this event uh, wouldn't be the same without the keynote speakers. You did bring lots of expertise and variety to the conference, and it has been fundamental to make it happen. I think lots of people presenting papers and uh, early career researchers did benefit greatly from having you here presenting. For next year, uh, I'm uh, working with uh, the EC3 uh, to have our conference in Crete, in Greece. Uh, the way we want to work is to establish a, a work stream and parallel uh, events with the CBC. So keep an eye on the EC3 2024. It's going to be in China, in Crete on the 15th to the 17th of July, 2024. I think they're already receiving submissions. So the idea is that uh, the EC3 will have a um, work stream dedicated to blockchain, and I'll be sharing that this with another colleague, Jenny Lee. So if you've been to the uh, workshop in Berlin, you know who she is. She ran a workshop on that a workshop, uh, a focus group, I should say. And then we will also try to run a parallel uh, business network event. So we'll, we'll, we'll try to keep this balance between academia and industry. Just note that they have other work streams as well. So it's quite interesting because although we'll be discussing blockchain in the blockchain work stream and track, you will also benefit from seeing other, other uh, technologies relevant to the construction industry. So Crete is a wonderful place. Here are some pictures. Beautiful seaside, wonderful food. Uh, they have a cave with a colorful lights. I discovered that. <laughs> Never been there, but uh, I probably will go there when the next year. And uh, worthwhile to visit. For the ones in Europe, uh, it will be quite straightforward. But if you um, cannot travel to Crete, I, I will try to organize everything so you can also present online, like we've done here today. So this is where Crete is, if you don't know. Uh, it's an island in Greece, <laughs> a very big one. So please get involved. Uh, here are some uh, links. Um, we are based at the Bartlett School of Architecture. We are a project within UCL. Uh, the best way to be up to date with what we're doing is to subscribe. Uh, and we will we'll not spam you, we'll just send occasional emails saying what's going on. Uh, and then we always check once a year if you still want to be subscribed. And if you don't, then uh, we will delete your email, your, your contacts. We don't share your contacts with anyone. And thank you very much and hope to see you again soon. Uh, I'm just putting a picture here of Mamma Mia because uh, we're going to have a good time in next summer in Greece. Uh, and uh, I just want to thank you all. And once again, thank Jack Chen for, for, for the wonderful collaboration we had with him and uh, his team and the organization team and uh, you all who presented here today. Thank you. <laughs>